So I, um, I thought trade deadline deals were supposed to be guys that are really good going to contenders. What do you make of this deal where he ends up uh, Hamels in Philadelphia and goes to Texas? You know what, John? I, I honestly think that the Texas Rangers feel like they are contenders this year. I mean, that second wild card spot is wide open, and they feel like with Cole Hamels, they can go out there and grab a piece of that. I, um, I, I'm really excited for Cole because I've talked about it on baseball tonight. He was told at the end of the last year he was not going to be a Philly. He was going to be moved to a contender. Finally, they came through with, with what they promised him. And, John, as you know, I've been that guy, man. In 1984, <laughs> I was in last place with Cleveland. I woke up the next day in first place with the Cubs. That's what Cole Hamels is going to do tomorrow. Has George Frazier forgiven you for that, by the way? <laughs> we got we to gotta stay tight, us boys from Missouri, man. Uh, real quickly, you, you talk about they had a piece of it this year, but how about if we do look ahead to next season, if, in fact, at five games under 500, the Rangers might be a bit too far back to make a serious push. Next year, you team up with you, Darvish, comes back from surgery, Ivani Gallardo, and suddenly Texas looks like a very good team. Absolutely. You add Derek Holland to that. You know, the comeback player of the year probably in Prince Fielder this year. They feel like they can contend. And I think the number one reason they had to do this is they've seen how much that the Astros and the Angels have improved. If you want to contend in the future, you've got to step up and do it. And they know that that window on Elvis Andrus and on Adrian Beltre, it's not going to be open forever. That window to win might be right now for them.